Hi guys, welcome. My name is Ana de Sousa and today we will be looking at a wide leg four fold and some variations. So I'll show you what the pose looks like and then I'll give you some pointers in case you need a bit more of support for this pose. So for wide leg, uh, forward fold, we just take the legs as wide. I mean, you don't have to go to your full potential, to the full opening of the legs, but somewhere that is a bit challenging would be a good start. And um, we'll just keep the feet flexed, the legs nice and open. They are kind of out of rotating. And then you can bring the hands down and this might be your forward fold because you might feel here a lot of sensation on your inner thighs, but you can drop the forearms down by all means if you're wanting a bit more, and you can walk the hands even further if you want a bit more, and you can by all means just fully lie your chest down on the mat. So that will be your forward fold, what it looks like, and I'll give you some options. So come to my side so you can see my spine. When I come into my Y legs, you can see that my, my spine is nice and straight. Um, it's just because I've practiced a lot of years. <laughs> but if you notice that when you open the legs, this kind of happens and you feel like your spine is rounding, it's just super hard to get the hips really open, we'll just grab a block and sit your bum on the block. Use props, friends. Remember that the benefits of all of these poses are the same, regardless of how many blocks you're using or how deep you're going. If you're feeling the stretch where you should feel it, you're doing the pose. So using a block and sitting your bum on it, you might need two blocks. I actually think I need two blocks. Big bums, two blocks. Cool. And then keeping the legs kind of wide. Now you can feel like the spine, there's not a, a rounding on the lower back. And from here you can just, it will be a bit easier for you to fall forward. Again, remember, as long as you're feeling a stretch on your inner thighs, you're doing the pose. There's no need for you to come full on pancake. Just keep your feet flexed, the legs extended and active, and just keep trying to draw the belly forward rather than the head. So it's not this, it's more like this. Yeah. So that is your wide leg forward fold. You might need like assistant like this <laughs> to come out of the pose and that's fine. Just, you know, take it easy as you come out because your inner thighs will be tired after that one. If you have any questions about this pose or um, you need any extra tips, please feel free to drop us a message and we'll be super happy to help you. Um, I'll see you next time.